ultimately you've got a manager in place that I had reticence about. I had reticence about Frank Lampard because I do think mm. experience is um, something that you simply can't buy. And when you're taking on Premier League teams, it's very difficult to manage in that league. But I like a lot more that I hear from Arteta than I dislike. I think sometimes you have to take one step back to take two steps forward. I still think the culture in that dressing room probably needs a little bit of a tweak and a little bit of adjustment. I think him talking about the notion that things come off the training ground and the betrayal of trust a week earlier about instances behind the scenes that he mm. was talking about and wanting to find out about. I think the manner in which he answers questions about how the consequence of this player on Sat Sunday getting sent off is going to be attended to means that this man is focused on the job in hand. I'm not one of those that looks at it and goes, oh, everyone's got a bowel at the temple of Guardiola because he worked there. Everyone's got a bowel at the temple of Bielsa because he's the best coach and everyone defers to that. I just think this guy probably, if he's given enough time, will have an opportunity to be a really, really good manager. And if Arsenal are prepared to allow him to learn on their dime in their time, then why wouldn't we give him the benefit of the doubt? He's won the mm -hmm. FA Cup as well. All right. Thanks, Simon Jordan from Talk Sports. I think I kind of agree with some of the things he's said in that video, if you ask me. But before I go on, welcome to the Blunt Pundit, where I speak my mind and you can say yours. Well, listen guys, let's track back to when Arteta was given this job. Some people were for him, some people weren't for him. I didn't have a problem with Arteta taking over. I've always said it and I maintain that whatever the coaches that is going to take this stock of players is going to struggle. And this is a rebuilding process. No matter who is given this job, whether it is Mourinho, whether it's Ancelotti, whether it is um, um, Socia, so is it Socia, <laughs> or Socia, I really don't know how to pronounce that guy's name, forgive me for that. Whoever coach is going to be given, whether it's Luis Enrique, they're going to struggle. Because you're coming into a club that the players don't have a winning mentality, that's one. You're coming into a club where many of the players are found wanting in terms of skills, in terms of mentality, in terms of um, the basic fundamentals of football. That manager that's going to take over is definitely going to struggle. Does Ateta need time? I think he does. There's a reason why they gave him a contract till 2023. Because this is a long process. It's a long process. We need to just come to terms with the fact that patience is very key here and I kind of understand why many fans are angry because obviously we've been patient for like what 15 20 years now um no 16 years precisely um we've not won anything really we've not won the Premier League since 2004 and I can understand the impatience but at the same time we need to be a bit more practical than be more emotional because I can understand people are angry people are seeing us losing the games and all that Look, let's be real. Ateta has won 26 out of like 43 games. That's above average with this squad. And that just shows me that Asen Wenger has done a great job before he left Arsenal Football Club. He's done a great job in the sense that he's been using a lot of mediocre players to maintain top four. And that has been the culture in Arsenal. The fact that we have players that are not as world class like the likes of the Real Madrid and the Barcelona and the Bayern Munich and you expect to win something from it. It's not possible. And we as fans need to understand that this transition process is going to take time. And I know that the social media also adds fuel to the fire sometimes. You know, when you see different people ranting, some of us become sheep and then we just jump into it without really sitting down and trying to reason for ourselves. When we were getting at this job, can I ask you this question? And I want you to answer this with honesty deep down in your mind. As you're looking at me right now, were you expecting instant success from Arteta? Were you expecting instant success from any manager that comes in to this club right now to take this stock of players to your glory days? Were you expecting that? I can assure you, majority of you will say no. Did you even expect him to win the FA Cup? Majority of you will say no. So run out and get very emotional all the time which i'm guilty of sometimes but i still try to choose my words wisely when i'm analyzing or trying to analyze the situation and i think many of many of us we fans we need to also learn that to try as much as possible to be a little bit more practical and try to understand that rome was not built in a day and trust me we're not gonna get back to where we belong in a while it's a rebuilding process 
a lot of Deadwood needs to be gotten rid of in this club. With all due respect to some of these players, but they're just simply not good enough. I've always used this analogy. Can you make fire out of wet firewood? It is not possible. It is, except you use an external catalyst and you use maybe one big gallon of petrol or kerosene. Maybe that's the only way you can make fire out of wet firewood. But it, it is just not possible to do that. So when you have a stock of players and you ex, that, that have a certain level of skill and have a certain level of um, football knowledge and you expect something from them, which they can't give you, then I'm sorry, then you're deluded. You, with all due respect, you are deluded if you're expecting many of these players to do what you've been expecting the likes of Vieira and Roy King to do. No, you wouldn't get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bellerin in the game against Leeds yesterday made three foul throws. And I keep saying that. He's made, no, sorry, he made one foul throw in that game, but then he made two foul throws in a previous game against Liverpool. That's three foul throws from an experienced right back that is supposed to be the leader in the squad. I know people make mistakes. People make a lot of mistakes when they do throwing and all that. But when he's consistent, then there's something wrong somewhere. Do the players need to go back to the basics of football? Do they need to unlearn some of the bad habits? Unlearning bad habits is always going to take time. It is just what it is. For you to unlearn a habit and learn new things, it takes a lot because first and foremost, you need to be humble as a player for you to be able to listen to a coach. That's one. You need to act like a dummy so that you can absorb new ideas from a manager. And that's where respect for the manager comes in. If you do not get rid of those old habits by just being humble and meek, you're going to find it very difficult to improve your football game. And that's just the reality of it. And whether we like it or not, the defensive shape and the defensive football of Arsenal has improved. It has improved. I don't hear a lot of people saying that about Arteta. I don't hear a lot of people giving him praise for the fact that that defense is looking better than it's been in the last five years. And when I mean better, I'm talking about the way we play defensively. People are now almost switched on defensively. And I get that the attack has suffered. But then again, like I said, Roma was not built in a day. You need to understand that he needs a little bit more time to get that balance right. If you are putting your eggs in one basket, there's always that danger that you're going to lose out to some other aspects of the game. There's going to be a trade-off. And I think what's trying to, what's, what Ateta is trying to do right now is to find that balance. But we cannot deny the fact that his defensive shape has actually changed the way Arsenal plays football. We are better defensively, whether you like it or not. That's the reality of it. So I think for me, patience is key. And I'm urging all Arsenal fans that are watching me right now to please and please exercise a bit of patience because we really, really need that from we fans. That's the only way we can move forward. Yes, we're going to get frustrated now and again. I definitely get frustrated. There's no doubt about it. But at the same time, I try to cool myself down and tell myself that it's a process. I kid you not, Luis Enrique will come to this. In fact, Luis Enrique would even take this job without guarantees of certain players being signed. And let's not forget, this is a club that sacked 55 staff members. This is a club that asked many of the football players to take 12% pay cut. This is a club that for the first time, the owner has actually taken out of his pocket to help the club to get a player. So you should understand that any coach is going to struggle because he's going to have one arm behind his back and he's going to be working with just one arm. You need to understand that without the financial backing, in football now you need financial backing. Gone are the days when Arsene Wenger didn't really need that. Now you need that and before Arsenal would change their habits, it's going to take time. But, but at the end of the day, look, Kroenke took, put his hand in his pocket to actually try and get um, what's his name, party. So hopefully, maybe we can get more of that to come. But I'm going to end by saying, guys, please and please try as much as possible to be patient. I think that's the best we can do now as Arsenal fans. Try as much as possible to be patient. And when I mean patient, I'm talking about at least two transfer windows. And then we can talk business. And then you can castigate or destructively castigate Arteta. For now, let's 
leave it at constructive criticism. That's the best way we can move forward. Anyway, it's your boy here, the Blunt Pundit. Lovers will be lovers, haters will be haters. I'm out of there, guys. Cheers.